This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Hey guys, Vincent here from thecreativedojo.net. Um, today I just have a quick tip on how to kind of remove backgrounds and achieve actual alpha channels or transparency in your stock footages, your logos, or images within After Effects without having to go into Photoshop and actually removing it using you know, the refined edge tools or the brushes. And this quick tip is actually pretty handy if you want to try to stay within After Effects itself and not really leave the application here. So for an example here, I have this footage here, which is pretty much a explosion on a black background here. Now, normally if you wanted to composite this into a scene, you have an option to change the blending modes from a, a normal here to maybe screen or add, and that will kind of remove uh, you know, the black background here, but this doesn't give you an alpha channel. So if I disable the background layer here and then turn on my transparency, you can see that even with the blend mode set to screen, you're not going to get an alpha channel. And I know that this isn't really the perfect example to show you here, but this could be pretty much anything. This could be a logo. Uh, maybe your client has a logo that has a white background or a black background on it, and you want to remove it so you can extrude it properly. You want to incorporate it into your motion graphics scene properly. Um, so there are a lot of reasons why you would want to get an alpha channel and not just pretty much blend it in. And for example, if I uh, turn on the layer again, as you can see, when we screen it or add it, it doesn't really blend well. And in some cases, you do not want to use blending modes. You just want to get transparency uh, and get rid of the blacks. So of course, you can do this in Photoshop, but it wouldn't really work too well with moving video. You could use mats, but in this technique, I'm just going to show you a really quick way to remove it using some effects here. So let me change the blending mode back to normal. And so we have this black background here. So to remove black, I'm going to go to a nice spot here, maybe right here. So to remove this black, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the effect and I'll go to channel and then I'm going to select shift channels. And then I'll select the take alpha from and we'll change it from alpha to luminance. And that will automatically get rid of the black as it is here. Now we do have some leftover residue, which you can take care of um, by simply applying a remove, uh, let's see, remove color matting effect. Now this doesn't really work in this particular case, but if you had some remaining blacks, you could um, use the remove color matting and select the background layer and remove the excess black or you know dark grays or whatever you want here. So you could do this. And to kind of refine tune this, you can also apply a curves effect or a levels effect. I prefer curves, but um, so you can tighten this up here and just uh, go to the alpha channel because we have alpha now and we can kind of tighten this thing up a little bit and kind of control the alpha of this. So I'm, I'm just going to turn off the remove color matting effect for this particular example. And so as you can see, if we disable the background here, you can see that we actually have alpha channel. We actually have a, a transparency built in here. And for whatever reason, if this was a logo or some kind of uh, you know more complex animation uh, that you wanted to preserve alpha, you can render this as a QuickTime animation codec with alpha and save it as an alpha. This can be kind of handy because it's already pre-keyed. So you don't have to repeat this process over again. Um, so this is a pretty cool way of achieving an alpha channel and removing the black. This is just a nice way of doing it with effects here. Now, another example here is one we'll have to remove some white background here. And the process is a little bit different, but they're kind of the same as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to remove white. Now, keep in mind, this is not a perfect uh, white here. We have some kind of a gradient blue down here, but it kind of works the same way. So we'll go ahead and first of all, we'll go to effect. We'll go to channel and we'll select invert. And that's just going to invert the colors. Very simple. And then from here, we pretty much did the same exact thing. Notice how we want to remove the black areas now. We inverted it, so we're not really removing the white areas anymore. We are removing the black areas. So the process is essentially the same. We'll go to the effect. We'll go to channel. We'll go to shift channels. And we'll take the alpha from the luminance. And if you have any leftover residue or black background residue, you can always go to effect, go to channel and remove color matting. I'll just disable this for this part right here. And then finally, remember things are still inverted here. So we so we did remove the black, but we need to re-invert it. So we'll go to effect, we'll go to channel, and then we'll go invert one more time. And that will just flip it back to normal. So the first invert kind of screwed things up so we can remove the black. And then we're going to re-invert it back together so we have our final image here. So maybe we can apply the remove color matting effect. And as you can see, it's not a perfect result because we do have some white in the liquid here. So this method really only works if you have a perfectly white or perfectly black background or something like that, or a solid background here. So if we were trying to remove some white and we had some white 
on this liquid here, then you know you, you would be removing that as well. This is essentially kind of keying a uh, particular white. So it will remove some of the white within your actual image too that you're trying to preserve. But again, you can go ahead and apply a curves effect and try to tweak that um, to the best of your abilities. Um, but most of the time, this isn't a problem if the background is pure white and you know your foreground element is not white. Um, and the same thing applies to black values here. So just try your best. Um, I know this isn't the perfect example with this liquid here and the flames here. This isn't really a perfect example, but it does kind of give you like the idea on how to remove black and how to remove white uh, completely within After Effects without any third party plugins or anything like that. And if we disable the background, you can see that we do uh, have some alpha channel for this as well. Now I have a little surprise for you guys, a little gift from me to you. But before we talk about that, I wanna go ahead and thank our sponsor Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace is the only one platform that makes it fast and easy to create your own professional online website, store, or portfolio. They have over 20 highly customizable professional design templates. With their click and drag interface, adding content is a breeze. And starting at just $8 a month, you can get a free domain name if you sign up for a year. You can start your free trial of Squarespace by going to squarespace.com. And when you do decide to sign up for Squarespace, make sure you use the promo code DOJO2 to get 10% off the life of your order and support the dojo. Squarespace, everything you need to create an exceptional website. So I know that this is going to be a pretty tedious step applying all these shift channels and invert and remove color matting and curves and levels. I know that applying these things can kind of be of a hassle for you guys. So luckily for you, I created two presets within After Effects that will work for After Effects CS5 and above. And essentially it's a preset that you can, you know, go to the animation presets here and drag in a preset and it'll apply the shift channels, remove color matting, inverts and stuff like that. I'll create two presets, one for removing black and one for removing white so that you can quickly drop the preset onto your footage or your image and kind of remove it all together without, you know, really applying these effects over and over again. So it's just a pretty cool preset. You can download it at the creativedojo.net, absolutely free. Now I didn't really come up with these techniques myself. I actually read on how to do this on multiple forums here. So I just wanted to share this with you guys. Um, so just quick basic tip. As you can see, this looks a lot better than just screening it. So if we remove the effects here and just screen it, you can see that this looks pretty awful and we get no transparency by doing it this way here you get a more realistic looking image as well as preserving the alpha channel if that's desired so just a little quick tip for you guys um, that's pretty much it for this tutorial guys my name is vincent Wynn from the creative dojo and i'll see you guys next time